Hey everyone, this is Pegmas. I'm here doing a bit something different. I've got 30 minutes probably for work, and I figure why not do a quick SOLIDWORKS tutorial. Uh, this one will be on making a mold, so we're going to go ahead and just get right into that. Now, this is the simplest form of making a mold um, that I've learned in my SOLIDWORKS class at Palomar. So we're going to make a cube on the top plane. Uh, here, which is the rectangle, and I chose center. The smart dimension. Go one inch by one inch, smart dimensioning tool. Um, when the lines are all black, I don't know why I pointed at my screen right here, I should say. Uh, that means it's fully uh, defined. We have a boss extrude. I like to do things on the mid plane, and I'll do it by one inch. So now we have a one inch by one inch cube. We'll go ahead and uh, let's just make that. Mm, why not red? Let's go with red. Okay, so this is our one inch by one inch cube that we're going to make the mold from. So let me go to file, make an assembly from part, save this file, uh, let's go personal project, SOLIDWORKS stuff, go to new, folder, YouTube, tutorial, I don't know how to spell sometimes, I'll just call this a uh, cube mold. Go to assembly, okay, and if we just hit the check mark, right there it is, boom, cool. Then we go to insert components, click the little thing, and hit new part. So this allowed us to choose where it's from. We're going to do it from here at the bottom of the assembly, okay. So now this is clear, which means we are now able to edit this part. Let's go. Go to uh, sketch, once again, send a rectangle. Uh, last track of where my face is. There it is. And since we know that the cube is one inch by one inch, we will go on ahead and make that 1.5 by 1.5. Cool. Okay, and then features, extrude blast base. Uh, we are going to flip the direction, and we're going to do it line by half an inch. Okay, and now you can see the cube is inside of the small square. So, if you go up here, you can go from SOLIDWORKS help, knowledge base, community form, type in commands. Command is cavity. I hope you don't hear my computer drowning things out. And the design component, go to the plus mark. Cube is what we'll subtract. We check. Boom. Now we have a uh, hollow area where the cube is. Now I screwed up right here, as you can see. I did it from this face, so we're going to go back here. Go to. Nope. Uh, let's see. Oh, there it is. Boss extrude. Edit feature. And we're going to go two directions, also blind. Uh, by one quarter inch. So that's a little bit silly of me. Okay. We have the cube in here and part of the mold. And then we'll go to insert components, new part. Um, choose this. Offset entities. Parameters. I think that's it. Oh, that's not the first that. Ah, crap. Ah, screw it. We'll, uh, we'll go ahead and just draw the thing. Okay, center rectangle from the center point to the outside of the square. And we'll go to features, extrude boss base. And we know that it's uh, 0.75 here, so we're going to go 0.75 here. Go we'll check. Cool. I rather got cavity highlighted here. Design components, once again, we'll choose a cube, and check, and now we've got two hollow things. Alright, let's go open up these parts. Right, it made an actual part, so there's that part of the assembly. Um, go, uh, part three, we'll make that green, oh, that's a disgusting green, that's a better green. Okay, check, control tab, control tab. 
right? So that's green. That's in part. I don't know what color should have this. Appearance part two. Uh, so let's make that a eh, magenta-ish color. Okay. Control tab one more time. Here's your thing, but you can't see it. So we'll go to configuration, new exploded view. Click this. Right. Find the Y. So arrow. Whoop. And down. And there you have it. You have a very simple mold assembly. Obviously you can put a hole up here to actually do the injection mold. Do some pins, but that's just the gist of it. Um, let's see. I'm supposed to double click that and make it uh, close out, but that's okay. Anyway, so there you have it. Uh, some mold assembly. If you have any ideas of what you want me to attempt in terms of SolidWorks tutorials, I'm not the greatest, but that's okay. 3D printing or games, just uh, hit that comment button, and we'll see you guys next time.